all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back information and update <laughs> Oga Tinubu don't confess so in don't talk say na the Ogun masquerade, Ogun spirit when he invoke and uh, I he help and win election. Oh. <laughs> so na they there, uh, na they there, they play, they play now. Oga don't invoke, he said that the masquerade when he invoke for Ogun state. <laughs> now why they win election? Oh. Say when people they gallivant, they go for. Uh, Chatan's house, they move about, uh, waiting to call them. I think with them and Peter B saying, Self, they for enshrine, they invoke spirit. <laughs> In go invoke Ogungun. He said, Now Ogungun help and win an election. Or oh, no, before my mouth, you go hear them. Make I carry you go for that new threat where this one is coming from Daily Post. Now Tinubu, they talk and by himself. Oh. <laughs> he said, Now Ogungun in go invoke. And I want intake win the 2023 uh, presidential pool. Let me take you to that news right away so that you go see how it happens. Say, now what I catch if I'm not Tinubu reveals two spirits he invoked in Ogun to win presidential election. President Bala Tinubu said on Thursday that he invoked the spirit of freedom and determination to overcome obstacles. In the last presidential election, <laughs> Tinubu spoke at the palace of the paramount ruler in Ijebu land, Oba Sikiru Adetona in Ijebu de Ogun State during a thank you visit. <laughs> My people now for Ijebu de, if you know whether they call Ijebu de, you go know what in the solve. You go know say. <laughs> If you don't hear about Ijebo Day before, my brother, no put leg, go. <laughs> no carry leg, put, just run. <laughs> now, dear Ogatinubu say, you go, you go, Ijebo Day, go, dear, go invoke one spirit. <laughs> now, so, in take win election. I also remember uh, one man in Enugu State, uh, or something like that, he's, he's late now, a, a mighty native doctor. Uh, but he's not greater than God. God is the most mightiest in Enugu State. Uh, who was buried with a car? A car. His children buried him with a car. He had about forty something wives, not even knowing some of his children. I remember him saying that he also got his power from a Jabode. Also, now let's go back to Tinubu information. He said he acknowledged that the spirit had been the driving force behind his service and expressed his gratitude to Oba. Adetona, other monarchs and elected officials, particularly his personal friend, former Ogun State Governor Benga Daniel, now a senator representing Ogun East. Tinubu said he was hopeful and optimistic about achieving victory in the last presidential election despite the cashless policy implemented by the Central Bank of Nigeria. In a statement by Dele Alake, his special advisor on special duties, communication, and strategy. Tinubu said, Our monies were confiscated. The cashless policy didn't work. It was terrible. Then I realized that I came to Ogun State to invoke the spirit of freedom for which we are noted. I invoked that spirit twice the spirit of Baba Emilokan. That's Baba being blunt, being decisive. That's him. He will tell you. The second spirit is the money. On no money, we will do the election and we will win. He thanked them for their loyalty and commitment during those crucial times in the 2023 election. The president who described his visit to Ibu Ijebode as a homecoming told Oba Adetona, the way you have taken me, the way you have responded to me, all I can say is thank you. May you live long. And may you witness a prosperous Nigeria. <laughs> when I don't say I see the words, eh, hold on, I have them, and I borrow them here. For both of those of us who are the TWC for this nation, since then, uh, Oracle, now he make them win election. Now Oracle go to control the Obodo. <laughs> but I wonder why he no go to pastors. See, make pastors pray for them. Well, yeah, some people say that God is not a politician. Uh, that God is doing his own business and politicians are doing their own business. Well, let me just believe it that way. But Ogatunubu don't talk as he be more. 
Another news, Masop leader disassociates self from IPOB. Dokubo face off. Hmm. Uh, I think and this guy called, uh, what is his name, Owazurike, is always doing like this. First of all, he started Masop and along the line, he cut off with that mission and that was how he became very rich. He is stinkingly rich now. Some people said uh, he collected bribe from the NIG government. Some people said that they gave him oil well. You know, too many things we are said about him. But the one notable thing about uh, Owazurike is that he was not that rich when he started the, the, the Masop Biafra struggle. But along the line, he gave up. And even in Nigeria now, it looks as if his uh, Masop stuff is somehow legalized. Because somewhere in Imo State, you see them doing their things freely uh, without nobody interfering with them. So they look more like a legalized organization. Let me uh, bring you to what Owazurike is saying. Chief Raf Owazurike, the head of the Biafra Independent Movement and Movement for the Actualization of Sovereign State of Biafra, disassociated himself from the conflict between the indigenous people of Biafra and Ahalahaji Muajid Asare Dokubo the former head of Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, on Friday. According to a statement made on his behalf by Mazi Chris Moka, his director of information and senior special assistant on media and publicity, Owazrike is only concerned with how IPOB leader Nam Bekano can be freed from the Department of State Service Prison, not what Asari Dokubo said on social media. Or as Rike said, those accusing him of conniving with Dokubo should go and verify from Dokubo if both of them have spoken as friends for the past three years. He recalled how he visited Dokubo in 20, 2002 in Port Harcourt when the former militant leader told him that the issue of Biafra was not one to be achieved through non-violent, stressing that violence was the only language that the federal government understood. He said, I do not even have Asari Dokubo's phone number, let alone talking with him on the phone. It has gotten to about three years now since we last talked, either on the phone or on a friendly conversation. If you had a problem with Asari Dokubo, you should better clarify that with him and not drag Raf was Rike into the matter. I am a non-violent crusader, known all over the world, and everyone should fight its own battle. Carry the cross and not call me to do that for you. So, Asare had never worked with me on the path of non-violent struggles. And when he was championing the cause for Niger Delta people, he took up arms and ammunition against the federal government, which everyone could testify to. Was Rike described the Kubo as a man who matches his word with action and urged those who are insulting him on social media platform to go and face him squarely. He added that Dokubo's comment asking the federal government not to release Nam De Kano where his personal opinion as guaranteed by the 1999 constitution as amended. He noted that his opinion cannot override those of the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization or an SND Igbo and Southeast Governors Forum, among others, that have been demanding his release. Was Rike said he is the only preoccupied preoccupied with the process that will lead to the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra from the DSS custody. Not talking about irrelevant matters about who said what and who said the other. He urged the federal government to release Kano because it is against the rule of law that one should be held in Comunicado for this long in a DSS facility even after several courts of competent jurisdiction had ordered his release. So now I don't see as it is up. Say um Wazulike has distanced himself, uh, saying that he is not in support of anybody, whether he is conniving with Asari Dokubo or not, uh, that he's not conniving with anybody. That what he is trying to do is to make sure that Mazen Nande Kano or Hamadike one of Ndibo, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra is released from the DSS detention and of course you see that um everybody is condemning you know the way uh, Mazen and the Kano is being treated and that is that is very wrong everybody is uh, is condemning it even the 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 was himself has 
condemn that. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening. God bless you.